welcome to a new sketchbook video. Today I want to start a new sketchbook. This one is super special to me because um, not only is it a Stillman and Burn Delta series, which I always wanted to try, but also this is my 10th 10th <laughs> sketchbook and a friend of mine gave it to me last year I think for my birthday I don't know when her birthday is I feel so bad right now okay and um, she wrote a super awesome oh no, oh no it's in August okay <laughs> um, she wrote a super awesome and nice text here which I really cherish and uh, it's really wonderful and since currently I'm a bit in a art blocky face I'm just when I read this, it just makes me super happy. So, Lita, if you're watching, thank you so much again for the sketchbook. It's super awesome. And I didn't want to use it because I was afraid of ruining, ruining it. Sorry. But now, I think three sketchbooks later or two sketchbooks later or two and a half, I don't know. I finally have the courage to start this one. And this is what I want to do today. And uh, as you've seen in the opening, um, I again want to try some um, art supplies in here to check um, yeah, how they perform. So I actually don't have any um, knowledge about the thickness of the paper and the... Well, I would say it's maybe 230 maybe? Hmm, I don't know. And um, about the yeah general behavior of the paper so um, I could look it up but then I would see how much it costs and that's kind of meh you know so I just want to try this um, yeah but if you want to know as mentioned it's a Stillman and Burn Delta series um, sketchbook maybe I should look it up but yeah I won't <laughs> and I want to try the art supplies I will just try them in here um, yeah so far it lays flat it's I think a five size roughly and it's uh, bound yes yeah, it's, it's thread bound and glued on the short end which I really like I'm telling you the obvious but yeah <laughs> okay let's start um, since this is a mixed media sketchbook I also of course want to try out different wet media like uh, gouache and stand in for gouache will be this acrylic gouache here I'm just squeezing it straight out of the tube because why not and once again all the art supplies I picked up are purple because <laughs> purple is my favorite color <laughs> so there we go for the gouache it applies nicely on the paper let's compare it to some acrylics maybe whoop blob of acrylics because if this is a thicker well the this is a lot of paint, okay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> this is a thicker uh, mixed media paper, then I could paint with acrylics once more. I could also have painted with acrylics more in my other um, Strathmore sketchbook, but I kind of didn't. This is nice. This is applying super smooth. Um, the paper is uh, has a bit of tooth to it, but not too much, so it's not super... Um, yeah like the super cold press paper from, I don't know, Arches maybe. I don't know, <laughs> this is really cool to not know what kind of paper this is. Actually, now we have a little bit of buckling, but this was to be expected. But still, I think both paints applied really nicely to the paper, which is something I really, really like. Next up, I have a drop of my Ecoline watercolors. There you go. And this, uh, I love the creaminess of the um, paper. So this off-white cream eggshell, maybe? Is it eggshell? I don't know, but you know what I mean. Um, I like that you can reactivate it rather easily. This is nice. So now we go to the watercolors. Let's first try some wet... I should have put some water down here. <laughs> With the wet on dry so this is wet on dry so far nothing special here yeah so no issues here so far really like this one for some wet on wet technique so this is a bit blue because my water's already stained but doesn't matter for some wet on wet because i really like wet on wet techniques we go with some blue and then you know, 
checking the blooming effects. This is the Winsor & Newton um, Professional Series watercolors, which I've showed you many times before, I think, so yeah. You might be familiar with them by now. Now maybe I could mix them here to test how good they reactivate. Yeah, this is nice. This is super nice paper. Next up I want to test, of course, um, my favorite uh, sketching art supply, my brush pens by Ecoline. I love them for adding some highlights, a pop of color, or really quickly um, sketching out, uh, uh, coloring my sketch. So here are the Ecoline pens, and lots of paper have problems with them, but this doesn't seem to have. So mostly if you apply a second layer then it rips the paper away, well, yeah, it rips the paper here a bit too. <laughs> but so far, I mean, as long as the first layer goes down, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. <laughs> So it rips the paper a bit, but not too much, and this is also really, really nice. Um, next up, I want to test um, acrylic markers. I have the Molotov marker here. So far, so good. Acrylics are really nice in this book. So as far as I can tell, I really like how flat this one came down. Especially since my acrylics from Schminke are the student brand and um, yeah they sometimes are a bit streaky but this one came down really smooth really nice so this worked so far and now for the posca pen but poscas are working on every surface so far so i don't think that there will be any you know problems here but you know next up um i want to also check uh, Copic markers. I know that they will bleed through on the back side, but yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> so let's check this one. Well, Copic markers don't usually work super good on, um, you know, on, on um, mixed media paper, but I think this is performing okay. Also, you might remember that I still have this render sketchbook um, that I bought in an, I don't know, very impulsive moment <laughs> in my art supply store. Um, I still will use this one, but I wanted to make my 10th sketchbook a special one by using the one I, uh, my friend gave me. These colors don't really go together. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh, I hate smell. I used to love it but well if you're using a dark color it really bleeds through a lot um, but for a light wash I mean you barely can see it this is nice. Also this again makes me really happy I mean look how beautiful the colors applied and yeah, I love white paper is really I really love white paper okay but this off-white creamy paper is also something that I really really enjoy using and yeah so this makes me super duper happy. Next up, of course, I want to use my Koi Noir Magic um, <laughs> um, pencil because I love this one, especially for adding maybe some cross hatching and uh, whatnot. If you haven't seen my sketchbook video from my last sketch, no, my sketchbook tour in my last video, hmm. or the one before, uh, alright. Um, if you've seen my sketchbook tour from my Strathmore video, then you know that I love using this, this baby. <laughs> so there you go. Um, Using um, colored pencils on mixed media is always fun, <laughs> but yeah, this one goes down well. I mean, it's it's okay. I actually really like the texture you're getting from this bit of tooth that the paper has. So yeah, for you know some pops of color, why not? And lastly, of course, my absolute favorite art supply um, is my pencil um, brush pen, and I want to try this one and some other brush pens to just see how much the ink uh, seeps into the paper and if the tooth of the paper is in my way of you know getting straight lines and stuff so i'm just drawing this really quick plant thingy here also i um changed the cartridge of this baby here yesterday so 
yeah, sometimes it works better and sometimes it doesn't. I actually like this bit of tooth uh, to it, but I also can str uh, create straight lines. So yeah, this is nice. And last but not least, I'm testing this um, steel blue petal. Um, is it also a brush pen? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this petal, it's a brush pen, okay, basically. This one is a bit older and uh, the cartridge is not as full as I would want it to be. <laughs> but yeah, still has a lot of juice though. So I really like the, you know, if you just barely um, put down any ink and then you see these, um, the structure of the paper. I really like this. Something I really like for shading, like if you go like this maybe. If I'm now watering this one down here. Yeah, that's nice. As you see, it's it's completely dissolving. That's really nice. So far, I'm completely impressed by um, the the um, acrylics and the acrylic wash, but also the watercolor looks nice. The granulation here, love it. Um, still, <laughs> so far, it really it's it's a perfect sketchbook. So Lita, you really know me well, even though I never talked to you. <laughs> I'm a bad friend, okay? I, um, I'm bad at answering um, texts. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I want to let this dry now and then we will create our first artwork in here uh, together and I'm super excited about this.
Okay, I guess I'm done so far. Things got totally out of hand because I was listening to my musical and not checking my reference anymore, but I still like it. It has some energy to it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really, really in love with this sketchbook and I actually can't wait to use it much more. Mm. The binding here and there is not super perfect, but you know, as you can see, the glue is coming up here, but that's that's okay. I mean, seriously, when I'm done with the sketchbook, it will look like hell, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then uh, please like it and um, feel free to subscribe for new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And I will speak to you again on Wednesday. Bye-bye.